I'm just, I'm just going okay, through I'm my head. all the background noise off. Okay, cool. I'm going to go. Ungaba. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. Right, 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 right. Where are you looking for? All the stuff I printed right, right, out. Right, right. This stuff right here, I just. No, the other stuff that I printed out about. All the uh, Johnson stuff and all. Well, I know you did. It's all on me. Got six minutes. <coughs> four minutes, excuse me. You got four minutes to find it, sweetie. Well, <laughs> I cannot get back in four minutes. No. Sorry. I have a date with this girl on Saturday night that is, what do you call an Aggie? Um, the, um, uh, her dad is a regent at a &M. You know a Susan Vick by chance? I don't. Mm -hmm. Her daddy is one of the regents of the University of Texas. What did I tell you from University of Texas A&M? I mean A&M. I mean, Texas A&M. Well, we're going to wing it on that because I'll have it. Okay. I will say that's my first screw up. Today. And um, you get to keep your job so far. Oh, please. Let me go on unemployment. <laughs> please let you go on unemployment. I can't draw it anyway. Why not? Well, I get teacher retirement and I get a paycheck from my husband for my company, so I make too much money. Man, my brother in law gives my sister a paycheck, 15 grand a month. It's nice. I thought. What is, what is wrong with you? You ought to be socking every bit of that in the bank. <coughs> I do. I'm very frugal. Yeah. You know what I did yesterday? Oh yeah, I went and bought me some eggs and bacon and I'm cooking breakfast every morning instead of spending 20 bucks every morning for breakfast. I'll bring you some, you like fresh eggs? I love brown eggs. I'll bring you some. I do have chickens. What is it? No, I was just checking to see if that so was tell me over there. You had an interaction with Shelly and Randy, correct? Mm hmm Okay. Mm hmm And Don Jones. But well, you met Don Jones, too. I met Don Jones, but I don't think I ever got to meet Shelly and Randy Bryce. Yeah, he just retired from... Uh, are we on live yet? Yes. Okay. Does this Is this Never camera at the right angle, son? Are we sitting okay? You like it? Uh oh I'm just right there. Well, I, that's just our intro saying, you know, we, we'll start shortly. I mean, come on, Keith. It's just the white light, that's all it is. It is. My farmer, I have no farmer tan, so it's really white right there. I thought it was my t-shirt. And my name badge was turning pure white last time, so I direct the light a little more that way. It's mm. interesting. I noticed he stopped short of that mm -hmm. real quick. He stopped short of what? Remember we're on my, on my house. We were, we were trying to ask him about the house. I don't know where Keith is. Maybe he had the keys. Okay, just <clears throat> so you know, when we're on YouTube Live, we're on YouTube Live, even in between the commercials. Okay. Now, Tex, is the, is the mic built into here for YouTube? Mm -hmm. Okay. Both of is them. There, there's not a way to mute one of those mics, is there? Yeah, I can I mute that mic? You can. Yeah. I can. Okay, just commercial. curious. We were just curious. Breaks. I, I, when you were gone last night, I decided to listen to, I guess, our latest YouTube Live mm -hmm. video mm -hmm. for the experience of. Seeing whatever. In in else hears. Yeah, in between the breaks. What, what's it like in between the breaks? We, we need to speak to the people. On YouTube during the breaks. Exactly. And, and yes, we can mute it. But the people that are watching are going to think it's weird. Because YouTube Live is YouTube Live that they want to no. see what is going on. Uh, no. I, this is yours. I'm already done. I'm already done. Mine's and, off. Yours you know, off. And I think that's our niche. Is we're ready. We're letting you behind the scenes to hear and see what it's like in a radio station when you're background. recording a radio yeah. show. Right. Yeah. And so, yeah. Okay, y'all ready? Mm -hmm. We are Here we go. Ready. Three, two, one.
Welcome, welcome all to the second hour here of Real Estate Talk. This hour is the Floors to Go Texas show. And live in the studio with me is Mr. Theral Williams. I call him Floor Floripedia. How you doing, bud? Very well, really very well. Thank nice you. to have you. Thank I want to welcome uh, all of our Facebookers and Think Techs and also the one that's the smartest in the room, Miss Dana, who is live in the studio with us. This show today, we got four interesting segments. But for the majority of the program, we're going to teach you how feral, make sure I'm saying this correctly, uh, to shop for a floor correctly. I understand this week there's a little frustration going on because sometimes we don't always listen, right? <laughs> and, and so... <laughs> Hope I said that right, sure. but but you know we really are about educating you, our consumer. Remember, this is the Floors to Go Texas show. They're located at 5212 Airport Freeway in Haltom City, 817-710-7030. Take it away, Theral. Well, good morning and good afternoon. I should say evening. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I get on the right time zone here in just a minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I want to I want to say a, a big thank you for those who come by our store. Yeah, because we'll talk about a guest who actually came into our store and they actually said a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug, and I heard it on 5:70 a.m. Oh, awesome! Yeah, like, well, you know that saying is catching on now. In the studio, I've heard a couple of people humming that walking down the hallway. So. <laughs> uh, Talk to okay, me a little bit, Theral, about, you know, we're all about education and how your store um, is really set apart from the big box stores. Talk about that a little bit. Well, uh, when people are shopping for floors, all those people who are interested in floors are going to be budgeting for a floor this year. Please listen up because these tips will help save you some money and they'll actually help save you some frustration. Uh, you know, the industry average is that people shop for floors every seven years. Wow, now, I didn't know that. And, and, I and, and honestly, it's, honestly, it's probably getting stretched out beyond that mm -hmm. because of all the hard surface we have today. But on average, people only shop floors for every seven years. Now, I want to try to relate to the listening audience. What if you only shop for a telephone every seven years? What if you only shop for a computer every seven years? Would you be behind in the You're technology? Way behind the times, Daryl. Mm -hmm. You know, so there have, although although flooring's is an electronic, <laughs> there have been a lot of uh, sophisticated technology built into these floors. Whether it's carpet, whether it's engineered hardwood floors, uh, or whether it's uh, the new luxury vinyl uh, tile that's kind of sweeping across the nation. And that's come a long way from your your old uh, vinyl in the kitchen. It's just yeah. come a long way. This is not your grandmother's vinyl by no. any means. And so uh, because of that, there's a lot to know. And it could be the floor you're looking for uh, may, or not, may, not, may or may not really hold up to what you want it to hold up. Uh, it, might be, it might be tougher. It might be overkill. I, at our store, what we do, and we specialize in, is, is we try to get to know you and find out what your needs are for flooring. I mean, if you go to a doctor and you have some kind of, you know there's something wrong, and you're going to have some symptoms, and he's going to have you describe your symptoms. Well, for us, uh, it's like finding out how many people live in the home. Do you have children? Mm -hmm. What are the ages of the children? Do you have pets? How many do you have? Mm -hmm. If you, if the flooring company you're shopping at right now is not asking any of these questions, chances are you're shopping at the wrong place. And we want to make sure that we ask these questions because you may be asking for a floor that um, uh, won't actually fit the high traffic area. Uh, I want to make a footnote to that. If, if you're going to a big box store or any other store and they're not asking correct questions, then they're all, it doesn't adhere to what this show is about. It's all about having a team around you. You become a number, and when you become a number, what Theral is trying to do, and the folks over at Floors to Go in Haltom City, is educate you and your family so you don't have to do this job twice on down the road. Did I say that right? Oh, yes, you did. Yeah. Yes, you did, exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and honestly, uh, in a nutshell, that's what it's all about, because mm -hmm. when people buy 
a product or they don't get educated on the right thing, it literally can fail and either the dealer is out of business two years from now, mm -hmm. three years from now, or worst case, uh, is they won't uh, they won't honor any of this claim. The warranty. Uh, the warranty. Mm -hmm. They won't back it up or stand behind it. And so mm -hmm. we don't, you know, I, I feel like that, that all the homeowners out there who are shopping for flooring, they work just as hard for their dollars as all the rest of us do. Mm -hmm. They're busy, but at the same time, they need to understand what's going on. And we want people to have a good value, but we, you know, really a good value is one, a product you can buy and forget about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody thinks about their floor until it starts looking really ugly. Mm -hmm. We, we mm -hmm. want you to have, have a nice, beautiful floor and not think about it anymore. Floors to go at uh, 5212 Airport Freeway in Haltom City. Just go out, uh, like going to Fort Worth, you'll see them on the left there. Uh, you reach out to them at 817-710-7030. Again, 817-710-7030. Or you can really email Farrell any questions you may have at radio at floors to go uh, texascom Now, they have a slogan, slogan, a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. You gave away a rug this week. Yes, we did. And you got plenty more to give out. You got to get down there and go do that. Absolutely. Not only do you educate the buyers, but I think what's even equally as important, Theral, is you educate your workers and installers mm -hmm. how to prepare and and put that product in correctly. Talk about that. Well, we at Floors to Go have weekly uh, meetings with our factory tech reps. And what we're constantly learning is about the, the, the facts, the, the features, and the benefits of a particular floor, whether it's engineered hardwood, carpet, uh, LVT, mm -hmm. even, even ceramic tile has some things built into it that people should know about the surfaces. And so these are the things that we do on a weekly basis. I, I know many companies don't do this at all. As a matter of fact, I was asking several of my reps, and uh, we are one of the few people mm -hmm. in the Dallas-Fort Worth area that actually educate our people on a weekly basis. But the reps enjoy it, too, because they show us their new product or, or something that's coming or give us uh, value deals, offer mm -hmm. us specials or, mm -hmm. or something like mm -hmm. that. So mm -hmm. it, it's a great deal. And the reps, if we have issues, we get them on the phone, they answer it immediately. So it's a it's a great relationship. Yeah, and we, we play stump the rep when they come <laughs> there. We ask them a lot of questions sometimes that they can't answer. And it's only because I know that these answers might be needed in the future. Mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, floors ago over at 5212 Airport Freeway in Haltom City has twice the inventory Am I saying this correctly? Twice the selection. Selection that the box stores do. You got to get over there and get your free rug by saying a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug or give Farrell a call, 817-710-7030. Farrell, before I go to break here, um, you got a great relationship with your manufacturers. You educate your people. I want to, we're going to talk about um, you know, educating the client in the whole buying process here in a minute. But something you said last week that really stuck with me, and I liked it, and it's how important it is to get an installer that is properly insured and properly knows how to keep up with the times and installing this great product correctly. Yeah. Please elaborate on it. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> more importantly, uh, uh, Probably the one single biggest area that uh, installers have failures on is uh, ceramic and porcelain tile. There are many, many, many installers that have multiple years of uh, experience, but that experience was based on a very short training period. Or uh, something their uncle did, or their something, daddy did, that's correct. or years and years of of n no education, mm -hmm. just this is how it's always been done. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I'll be honest with you, we're, <clears throat> we're interviewing and we're trying out guys mm -hmm. at the same time uh, on a constant basis. And, uh, you know, I tried out a guy a couple of weeks ago and he was unaware of rapid setting grout. 
and he the grout was just uh, working him to death because he didn't realize the grout was drying so fast. Uh -huh. And it plainly says rapid setting grout right on the box, <laughs> <laughs> or right on the bag, I should say. And so, you know, I'm trying to make sure that that we turn out the best guys possible for our people, our customers. I got to go to break. My question to you, our listener, and our Facebook participants, are you buying new carpet? Are you remodeling your kitchen or your bathroom? That's yes or no. My question to you is, do you know what you're buying? Well, you want to stick around when we come back. 40 years of education will be here. Make sure you reach out to Floors to Go. Uh, over in Haltom City at 5212 Airport Freeway, 817-710-7030. You want to hear what Farrell has to say when we come back. We'll be back in a Willie Scotch. Okay, I'd like to address the people who joined us on uh, uh, Facebook and, uh, and, and YouTube watching. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for joining us. And I see that we have... Uh, 14 folks. Uh, 14, oh, 14 folks. Great. Okay, so thank you for being there. That's that's excellent. Uh, what I want to say is is that um, if they didn't catch that first segment uh, totally, that we had a customer come into the store and say, <laughs> a room I heard on 570 uh, AM radio, a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. We gave them a, a brand new rug. We've already got it on on on, on mm -hmm. order. These don't take months to get. They just take about a week for us to get them. And they've got selections of nine different rugs. It's about an 80 ounce mm -hmm. wool rug with a carved border. Mm -hmm. What's not the value on it, you think? Uh, the value on the rug is uh, $600. Wow. It's a $600 and rug. You, you don't necessarily have to say KLIF, because if you heard it on Facebook or you heard it on YouTube, That's or correct. you saw it on Twitch. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Uh, we, We've got it out That's there. correct. We're, we're just trying to measure it. We're measuring our advertising. And if you just hear that, you, I mean, mm -hmm. who's going to make that say enough? Nobody. Well, <laughs> the, the gentleman, uh, Mr. Jones, if you're listening, when he came in and he said it, I said, the confetti's coming down. And he just started laughing. He said, really? <laughs> <laughs> we acted like he was the million customer type deal, you know. <laughs> And he wasn't sure we were going to give him a rug or not. Sure <laughs> not. Good. Dan had him picking out his rug in about yeah. two seconds. Well, but more importantly, he told you that he's got a big project, and he listened intently because he wanted to know about how we handle some of our, contractors our commercial and, and jobs. Yeah, you know, and some stuff like that. It, it, yep. Exactly. He says he listens every week, and uh, he uh, uh, he wants to be able to, to hear what things need to be looked out for, what mm -hmm. things happen, what can happen with floors. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, in the process, like you said, of this mm -hmm. uh, uh, assisted living, he wants to know what's the best thing to put down on the yeah, floor. Hopefully, we're going to be able to work with him. Mm -hmm. So, it, awesome. I, I'm, in, I'm excited about it. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> um, well, I got to tell you, uh, I'm really looking forward to this next segment because, uh, you know, most people are emotionally tied new flooring and carpet rightfully so as a homeowner right yes until yes. Farrell I got to know you I bought floors for my flip properties based on a discount and based on color mm -hmm. I had no idea the technology to put it down correctly mm -hmm. and those are some of the things we're going to talk about when we come back okay. do you really know what you're buying the buyer of flooring and a home is that right right yes and uh and yeah. and uh and is it your is it your forever home because mm -hmm. if it's not your forever home it's a different it's a different it could be different it could because be. that's a horse of a different color huh? correct. Yeah. budgets can be different because they're they're going to be moving out they're uh in this home for just a very short period of time where it's going to be turned into a rental mm -hmm. <coughs> so yeah, but i'll tell you something Daryl. Home buyers with technology today or a more savvy buyer from start to finish on all aspects of the home. And that makes for a better home and better resale and a better real estate market. Mm -hmm. And that's what y'all are really all about. 
That's right. And, and you know, what, what I want to say when we get back on the air again is that a lot of people do research online. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a lot of good information out there. I mean, I've gone out there in different areas to learn how to do stuff, and it's really good. People are really helpful. The problem with flooring is it is it's a little more complicated than people think, and there is good information out there. But there's and some that, bad information. And out there's also bad information. So we need to find out how much information or how much research people have done when they come into our store. That's a question we yeah. should be asking as a company. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, Tex, we got any Facebook questions or anything? No questions. All right, so we're ready to rock and roll. We're coming on with our second uh, segment here this Saturday night. So let me reset. You ready? Three, two, one. Welcome back to the Floors to Go Texas show, friend. It's all about what you want to do when you're buying any kind of flooring, um, backsplash, you name it in your home. And by the way, you can get a free 8x10 rug. I'm not going to say on the air how much it's worth, but it's not cheap. When you go down to 5212 Airport Freeway in Haltom City and say a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. You gave one away this week. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, we Mr. Jones, we're not going to say the first name, Mr. Jones mm -hmm. came in and took advantage of that. It's a really nice rug, isn't it? It he he really, was impressed with it. He yeah, thought, yeah. wow. Yeah, Dan, Dan and Matty. I did. Yeah. And Matty right. met the door, and when he said that, like I, like I said before, confetti fell down. <laughs> and it, 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 we all got, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. Don't forget that. Reach out to him at 817-710-7030. 817-710-7030. Or you can email... A guy that's got 40 years experience, radio at floors to go texas.com. Now, Farrell, mm -hmm. people that are buying flooring, tile, do they really know what they're buying? Or are they going off of emotion that they watch it on HGTV? Did I say that right, Dana? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Owls and Pinterest, you know, they can be good and they can be bad. You know, your, your home, emotion's okay because you live in your home okay and there are a lot of emotions in the home <laughs> i'm happy sad <laughs> excited exuberant mm -hmm. relaxed mm -hmm. cozy mm -hmm. comfortable so so there are there are colors <laughs> there are products that feel a little cozier mm -hmm. there are products that feel a little colder so to speak mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. products that feel warmer just from from the colors themselves mm -hmm. So they don't necessarily always know what they want, um, and but we we try to help guide them through that process. We ask a lot of questions, and some people look at us like what? But then when they realize we're not trying to get into their business, we're just trying to figure out which uh, to make the right product absolutely. match them. You, yeah. you know, we're trying to understand if a person entertains. You know, do they have a lot of guests in their home? Well, they're probably going to want a, a higher quality product. They're probably going to want a product that 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 uh, shows off a little bit, if you will. They don't want what your average person wants. Maybe they want something that's a little nicer. Well, I had one know. lady was worried about her wine if it spilled. So rightfully so, because there's a lot you, of spillage of wine. I, I don't know. The what longer she, the I evening goes, the more wine's going to spill. I don't know, but we had to find a product that would clean. You, you, you know what? You told me a product. I think it's two shows back. Um, uh, that was pet friendly, mm -hmm. and 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 I can't remember. Tell me the the name of the manufacturer, but they can hang a seven pound ball off it, won't rip it apart. Tuftex. Yep. There Tuftex. you go. Stain master. Yeah, Tuftex. because you know if people or homeowners are in the air in the in the neighborhood of shopping for flooring, and they have pets, mm -hmm. not all pet protect carpet mm -hmm. is created equal. Mm -hmm. There's a manufacturer in California that does a superior job that we carry. Before you go look at the big box store, friend, I want you to go get a free rug out at Floors to Go, Texas, in Haltom City, 5212 Airport Freeway. Call them at 817-710-7030. Carry on, Theron. Well, I like to add, I'll tell you how much that rug's worth. It's worth $600. I mean, it's. I uh, think you're it, running it, a fever again. Uh, <laughs> I think the fever's caught up with you. And, and, and it's 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 an 80 ounce rug, and it's uh, got it's got its hand carved border, mm -hmm. so it's a nice looking mm -hmm. it's a nice looking product. Mm -hmm. Well, it has nine different colors to yeah, it. Also. Yeah, there there are nine different colors to pick from. Mm -hmm. It's just not a single rug. Mm -hmm. So um, 
anyway, questions. It, it, here's some things that we do that other companies don't do. You know, we when we come out to a house, we take measurements. We have a program called Measure Square, and we can measure every area of the person's house. We can give you the. It, the come up with the to determine the square footages and things that you need uh, you, you know let me stop you just a moment when people say I have this much square feet for a rug well they don't take in consideration a pattern match or a cut or this rolls 12 foot you can't just pour that rug in there or that carpet, carpet. so it makes a difference on you you it's more than they think they need I'll bet you in nine times nine, not nine times in many cases People, when they give you the square footage of their home, don't really actually know their square footage. They go off the HCAD or the DCAD value. And once you get out there and put your laser beam on it, yeah. um, now you get an accurate as to what your real square footage is. That's just my take. I've seen right. it before. And, and it, you know, we, everything we sell is by the square foot. Um, years ago, we used to sell carpet by the square yard, and I understand that. But so many people got confused on square feet, square yards. We try, to make it, we, we, try to, we try to make it simple so that people can understand because they're buying tile by the square foot, wood, hardwood by the square foot, uh, uh, luxury vinyl tile by the square foot. Everything mm -hmm. is priced by the square foot. So we just price our carpet by the square foot. It makes it a lot easier to understand mm -hmm. what is the value of this over that so that they can easily compare w what something costs. And we'll run proposals for them at no charge to be able to figure out budgets. Because I mean, there's sometimes... People want to give, they want some options for their mm -hmm. budget to figure this room, hard surface, this room, carpet, and can you flip that? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just, I'm making this up, but you know what I'm saying in terms of giving <coughs> variable sure. prices sure. for people. And that's something that we do. We, we don't rush people mm -hmm. in their decision. You're going to have this flooring a long time. Mm -hmm. If we do our job right, you're going to have it a very long time. You know, not only that, there's different grades of carpet. It may be the same color. So in the master uh, bedroom, you might want the higher grade of the carpet. In the kids' uh, or the other guest bedrooms, you might want the lower grade. It looks the same. It's just uh, the different grades, same color. So you can sure. uh, so you can cut back a little sure. bit. Sure, sure. Um, all right. Well, you know, getting correct measurements is a big part of cost being cost efficient mm -hmm. and so Thero tell me about you know if I'm taking this off our game just just tell me but tell me about some of the new products that are you know we don't put thin set down anymore thin set is the old ways in my opinion R right when laying hardwood floors I switched on you a little bit uh, well not necessarily when we lay hardwood floor it's the setting tile. material for tile and port for Ceramic tile and porcelain tile. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a different material. Uh, a lot of there are a lot of installers that have not been trained to move away from the thin set because tiles are getting bigger, and you have to have a different you have to have a different setting material because the weight of the tile will cause thin set to sag because it's mm -hmm. it doesn't have enough viscosity in it, and mm -hmm. these newer setting materials are have a thicker viscosity. Mm -hmm. And uh, they will stand up better without uh, allowing so that so that one tile doesn't fall down below another tile. Mm -hmm. uh, you and know, that happens at commercial places. You can go in uh, your big box stores and look at those, and you, and it's uneven. And I'm going, huh? They used the wrong setting materials. Yeah. Well, if you can find a display in a box store, because the big box store, most big box stores don't even have they'll, they don't even have a big a, a display for floors. No, I'm concrete. saying it's coming in well. You're, you're right oh. about that, but I'm not going to say which stores have it, but, you know, everybody goes to Wally World or different places like that, and they, they have it in their entranceways. Yeah, the, the thing that people, this is what folks should, and, and are, I think you would agree with this too, Theryl. you got to be informed. you got to know from A to Z what you're doing, and it's not always about, you know, there's an old saying, you get what you pay for. And mm -hmm. cheap is not always good. You know, there's, there, you could very easily, very easily pick the wrong material, wrong mm -hmm. uh, installer, and be doing this again in 24 months. Yes, people should be asking dealers, uh, 
you know, questions. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if, if customers can, can do take some measurements ahead of time, it makes shopping a little easier. Yeah, uh, yeah but don't just bring us the whole amount. Cut up each room and give us the dimensions of each room. Mm -hmm. Don't come in and say, I have 800 mm -hmm. square feet. Go ahead and kind of give us a ballpark of each room. That mm -hmm. makes a little bit different. Yeah, I mean, we're going we're gonna to be able to come out and give them uh, an estimate. But if they if they can bring those in, that's great. Mm -hmm. we, as I said, we don't hurry. We don't pressure. We don't push people into making a decision. We're not the guy that pulls up in the truck and you have to buy today mm -hmm. before I drive away or you don't get the deal. Our deals are the same. Have you ever wondered, seriously, as a homeowner, what engineered flooring was? Well, you want to stick around to the last segment, and Thurl's going to tell you about that. Our friends out at Floors to Go uh, in Holton City at 5212 Airport Freeway. You can reach out to them directly with any questions you may have. 817-710-7030. Again, 817-710-7030. Farrell, when we come back from break, I want to finish up on some of the questions you ask. And then, you know, people don't really take moisture serious with floors. We're going to talk about that. And plus, we're going to give away some more free rugs. All you got to do is say, a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. Can we do that when we come back? Absolutely. We'll be back in a wet ass Is it just me or is it warmer in here? It's hotter than hell in here. Keith, you under control of the air conditioner? No, usually, <laughs> and usually it's too cold in here, so I'm sorry. Yeah. That's okay. That's well, weird. we sure want to thank the people that are Facebook, Twitter. Yes, and uh, we did get a private message from some folks uh, that there's uh, locked up the screen. Uh, however, our monitor's moving, and I've got other folks that are telling me that it's moving. So just refresh your screen, is my suggestion, and you'll be able to rejoin us. Okay. We need to be sure and say this one about reading the instructions. That's so important. So, so important. Uh, yes, customers do need, if, if, uh, if we deliver, say, hardwood out to the job site, uh, it's a good idea to have them open the box up, uh, lay the box out on the floor, Make sure that's what they wanted, what they ordered, because it's easier to fix now before we get in there and lay it all down, and then they go, that's not what I wanted. So you lay a couple of boxes out. At least a box, yeah. But and you got to, when you get your flooring material in, it's got to be in an air conditioning room. Has to be. Right, during the acclimation get, period. Got to get acclimated. Whether, whether it's 24, 48 hours, mm -hmm. whatever the manufacturer requires. But they come with a sheet of directions. Read them. Yeah. Read them. It's a good idea to Have read them. Have install or read them. It's a good idea to read them. It's a really good idea to read. Yeah. You know, I mean, you learn so much when you read. You know, they're going to tell you about the proper humidity in a the house. Mm -hmm. They're going to tell you about the proper temperature in the house. And uh, amongst a, a, a number of, of things, and it's just a good idea for the homeowner to know these things. Yes, we try to reinforce them in our store. For the folks that don't read instructions, they're all... Uh-oh. Um, you get to do life twice. Yeah, you get to do life <laughs> do, do twice. Over twi do it over twice. So, what's your recommendation when you get your flooring in? Open two boxes. I know that the last job that I did, Tex brought it out to me. Uh, is it, when we're going in the heat months, it is so important when you offload that flooring in your garage, do they move it in immediately, or is it okay for it to be in the heat as long as it's acclimated for, say, 48 hours? Well, it needs to be moved inside to the air-conditioned area where it's going to live. So as to quickly as possible. Yeah, yes, to its yeah. new home. Yeah, stacking it in the garage does no good. Uh, now I'm talking about engineered hardwood floors. Mm -hmm. We're talking about LVT or luxury vinyl tile. Mm -hmm. Ceramic tile doesn't matter, okay? Yeah, well, that, really that's, 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 that's a no-brainer. However, with ceramic tile, uh, as Dana pointed out a couple of shows ago, it's a good idea to pull the tiles out of the box so that you can see that they're the same size tile mm -hmm. because a lot of people may Makes not sense. know that uh, if a tile is not uh, rectified that the, mm -hmm. the measurement from one corner to the next corner in a straight line that's called a caliber and it can be a different caliber. It well the industry standards it, 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 it might be within standards but if you put a small grout joint 
you got to notice it. Absolutely. Well, you can always reach out to Flores to go over at 5212 Airport Freeway in Halton City at 817-710-7030. Uh, Tex, any uh, Facebook questions? No, sir. No. We're doing good. All right. Well, we're about ready to rock and roll. Let me reset here. Anything you want to talk about here um, before we go live? Well, we need to make sure <coughs> to say hello to uh, Shelly and Randy. They were the ones that came in also and said they listened to us on the radio. Mm -hmm. Good. I was tickled to have them. Uh, they have some projects that we want to help them with. So. Um, Did you want to go back over that? Line? Yeah, absolutely. We sure do. But that's a big one. Read the instructions. Yeah. yeah. You laugh about it. <laughs> it's the truth. We, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a big deal. All right, this is our second. This is our third. Starting, yeah. starting the third. <clears throat> All right, ready? Third. Three, two, one. Welcome back to the Floors to Go Texas show, friend. You don't want to miss this each Saturday night from 7 to 8 o'clock here on the Great 570 KLIF. You reach out to the Theral directly at 817 710 7030 at 5212 Airport Freeway in Halton City. You can always email him at radio at floors to go texas.com. Want to make sure to thank the prices who are flipping houses for coming in to the showroom the other day and visiting with Dan. I understand you enjoyed that. I enjoyed it immensely. When they come in and say they listen to us, <laughs> It just makes my day. Yeah, a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. It's your free will rug. Now, how important is it, Daryl, to read the instructions? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, a, a, a lot of us men are really bad about not reading instructions. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember. Uh, I can remember putting a lot of things together. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> so I got to do it at least twice, sometimes <laughs> three times, uh, because I got, uh, you know. These extra parts sitting over here. We'll have extra parts <laughs> left over. It's like, hey, I don't know. It looks so okay. In all, so, in all sincerity, we're talking about what you should know when you're buying flooring for your home. 101, read the instructions. Right. Mm -hmm. let's, let's use the example of uh, luxury vinyl tile or engineered hardwood floors. What we're recommending to homeowners uh, when they buy, when they shop, the the flooring dealer they're buying from, shopping from, should recommend that the product go in the house 24 to 48 hours in advance, or at least know what the manufacturer recommends for that one particular product, because they're all a little different. And while it's in the home acclimating in the air-conditioned side, not in the garage, unless the garage is air-conditioned, I doubt that, Got it. Uh, people that should, air conditioner has to be running. Can the heat <laughs> can the heat hurt those floors? Well, okay, that's if you turn the heat off in, or the or the AC off in a house and you leave it for very long periods of time and it goes to extreme heat and the house gets up to 90, 100 degrees and it sits there for a month, you're going to affect stuff. If you if you go through uh, a winter and the house does not maintain heat. You open the you windows know, for humidity. You're, oh. can, you can have problems plus or, or minus uh, 50 degrees. Uh, say, say 50 degrees and below a house that goes for several months and it stays below 50 degrees, you could have a problem with certain floors. If it goes above uh, 90 degrees or 80 degrees, 90 degrees, as it should say, for months mm -hmm. at a time, and there's no air circulation yeah you could have some problems so can the heat hurt a floor certain ones yes sure. uh pour some tile ceramic tile no not any that i know of right mm -hmm. offhand but other floors can uh, be affected by that so you you want to kind of read the instructions or know and make sure the company you're buying from has at least explained this to you in advance because if it's a second home for someone they may not leave the hva system mm -hmm. on so that's something very important to, to learn. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, when you talk about what I've gathered from you is heat, cold, and moisture affect flooring. Can. It can, it, if they're extremes, yeah. yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
And so it's, it's good to know what the parameters are uh, if it's a floor other than a ceramic tile and porcelain tile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, mm -hmm. just, just know that if it's not a ceramic tile and porcelain tile, any, those, those kind of, that can happen. Any other questions you guys ask? Well, we have a question here from uh, Natalie. It says, how often should I vacuum my carpet? Uh, the easy answer for that is, uh, traditionally, is uh, uh, however many people live in the house, mm -hmm. uh, and if it's the main room of the house, high traffic areas, high traffic areas, they probably should vacuum that amount of towels. Let's just give you an example: a family of four, <coughs> they have mm -hmm. a living room that everybody gathers on, or a den that everybody gathers on every day. You got four people walking in there, you're probably going to want to vacuum it four times a week. Mm -hmm. A week, not four mm -hmm. times a day. Not four times a day, <laughs> a week. Yeah. But like, for example, a bedroom. One one person lives in that bedroom, just vacuum it once a week. It's probably mm -hmm. just fine. Yeah, and it's personal bedroom, preference, isn't it? It's, well, sort of, but at the same you can, time... You can tell a difference in high traffic areas because they just get more dirt. They yeah, just get more soil. More, I, I think because I'm, I'm trying to think what Natalie's thinking right now, that maybe... Um, if you vacuum, if you have four people living and you vacuum more than four times a week, are you damaging the carpet? Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Not necessarily. Hey, and you need to always have a clean bag or have a clean canister or mm -hmm. uh, whatever so that you are getting maximum. But you also yes. need to watch clean the bag. beater bars. On yeah. some carpet, beater bars are not good. Um, some of the very fine fiber carpets that I have out here today. We won't mention them on the air. I'll mention them in my store though. Mm -hmm. uh, as a matter of fact, we don't carry some of the really fine fiber products because they have now been out long enough and they're having a history of their having problems with certain vacuum really? cleaners. Yeah, really? Yes. Not any, mm -hmm. not any of the stain master, not any wool, but just know that there are certain ones that some of the vacuum cleaners uh, can have a problem with. And, and, and Theral, we need to say uh, shout out to Bill Guyton. Uh, he's a great guy. He's one of our reps, and he just joined us. That's oh, that's true followers we're there. We're shaking, Bill. Thanks, thanks for joining <laughs> us, Bill. Yeah, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> so talk to me a little bit because I, I want to carry this through the end of the program. We're going to talk about hardwood floors in the last segment. But talk to me real quickly, Theral about how important it is uh, had the when you're laying a floor, and I would think carpet and or hardwood floors, having the moisture checked in the foundation. Well, this is a thing that a lot of people don't know, and this is another thing to be aware of when you're shopping for floors. The, the, the flooring dealer you're shopping for, if, if you should ask them, do you have a way of testing this floor for moisture? Bingo. Now, uh, if they say no, then I probably it's would a find flag. another. It's a red flag. Mm -hmm. I probably find another. Run place for to the shop. hills of Oklahoma. Uh, typically, typically carpet, residential carpet. I'll say it this way: residential carpet. Typically, you don't need to check moisture because the carpet itself does allow breathing. The okay. pad does allow okay. some breathing okay. of the concrete mm -hmm. slab. All concrete slabs have some kind of moisture in them. Mm -hmm. So the so today, when you're putting down engineered hardwood floors. When you're putting down some of these, uh, what we call luxury vinyl tiles or resilient vinyl tiles or planks, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, whether they be glued down or floating, there, there needs to be some kind of testing done to the concrete slab to make sure that if moisture mm -hmm. is excessively present at the time of the measurement, there might need to be some other mitigation going on for that moisture mm -hmm. or make allowance thereof. So Whether for, it be the glue that you use? Exactly. You may have to go to a different adhesive if it's a glue down floor. Mm -hmm. uh, we have chosen to go to a, a six mil polyplastic under all floors that float. Not a, it's not a cushion, it's just a plastic uh, uh, moisture barrier. Moisture barrier because we are, uh, I am sort of testing some of these manufacturers and uh, under the scenes, what they're not telling us, but they're written in writing, is that they're giving up on the moisture of a slab if it's over 85% relative humidity. In other words, if it's over 85% over 85 relative mm -hmm. humidity in the slab, that means too much water on that luxury vinyl tile can have a problem. I know of uh, two major manufacturers right now that say that in writing, and that concerns me. So We're my company, we are being proactive. It's a little tiny insurance policy for us. Uh, it's not costing the homeowner anything. It's just, it's just pennies in order for us to put this plastic down. But we want to, 
we want to be do the right quality thing. So that's right. something that's very, very important, uh, especially with engineered hardwood floors, because it's a it's a totally different procedure with engineered hardwood floors. And it's also like Dan said, you, you could need a different adhesive. Uh -huh. You might have to uh, do some kind of mitigation to the concrete. And you need to ask the company that you're doing, you're chopping for wood for right now, what do they do in the event of moisture or do they test for moisture? Because yeah. we do at our company. It's yeah. ours to go. Ethics start from the top down in a company. And I'll tell you, Thera Williams owned a floor to go Texas in Haltom City. Um, as you can tell, is an ethical guy and wants to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you get what you pay for, and there are no shortcuts as homeowners. And I got it, Theral, um, you guys over at 5212 Airport Freeway uh, have put a tremendous company together. And for all the homeowners uh, and the flippers and the real estate agents. Um, and the commercial. And the commercial. Yeah. And folks, if you have a, any question about floors, tile, carpet, anything, I want you to reach out to Floors to Go Texas at 817-710-7030, 817-710-7030. Remember, rule of thumb on vacuuming your house. How many people live in the house? That times a week. When we come back, We'll visit more with Theral about solid versus engineered floors. Really looking forward to this segment. Uh, stick around, women. We'll be back in a willy skosh. So how much time do we have for the floor segment? Uh, probably about... Good question. Probably got 10. 10 or under. Yeah. 10? 10 or under. 10 tops. Yeah. 10 tops. So we... Okay, 9-ish. <laughs> that's right. 9-ish. <laughs> I thought it was really interesting, man, that the way you vacuum to the amount of people that are in the house. My mother always said, you vacuum in the evening once a day, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> Were you well, living there at the time? Uh, yes. She probably had a yeah. reason. <laughs> <laughs> probably had a reason. I, I, just, I, just, I just told her myself, didn't I? Just saying. <laughs> just saying. Maybe the, boot, maybe the boots didn't always come off. Huh? Yeah, that's when I started learning what a switch was all about. <laughs> um, this show's entertaining, folks, if you just hang on here. Yeah, it gets better. It gets better. <laughs> In between the breaks. So Humor is one of the best cure-alls of life. <laughs> the second kick by a vacuum is not a lesson. The second <laughs> kick by a vacuum is not a lesson. Oh, no. Well, you'd uh, be surprised if you do change that. My vacuum doesn't have a bag. It has a canister. And it will shock you. If you vacuum, go out and dump it, come back, vacuum, you get more out of that. And, I mean, I'm living, I have a very nice house. We, it's just me and my husband 90% of the time. And there's dust everywhere. It's, yeah. it's shocking. Yeah, yeah. That comes from uh, intakes on the roofs. It comes from the chimney. Well, we are in the country. Vent, yeah. You know, the name it screens. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you another thing, Theral, uh, before we come back live here. Uh, not only is it so important that you test the moisture in a foundation, but when laying hardwood floors, it's very important that you have a level playing field. And I watch my guys, you know, they, they put the little level on there and all this stuff. And, man, we had to take a big hump out of it, you know, mm -hmm. and you get the grinders out. And a lot of people don't know to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, they just entrust in the installer to do it. And there could be a bow. Concrete's and when you want you, the one thing that I learned, Theral, you lay your grout down or your cement down and start putting your hardwood floors in, Buddy, you give it about 20 minutes, you ain't pulling them up. Yeah, it's stuck. Yeah, you're done. So you better have a playing level playing field. Am I saying that right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you're sure, you're right. And, and mm -hmm. the problem is a lot of uh, uh, wood installers don't necessarily travel with a grinder. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you start grinding on concrete, it yeah. turns into dust. Mm -hmm. And if they don't have a great vac system, 
to capture that with a small uh, micron filter on mm -hmm. it, you're going to sling dust all over that person's house. Well, and it goes everywhere. It goes everywhere. My, uh, I walked up on my job, and we did we were re rehabbing the house. Yeah, and I walked up. And they had that grinder going, and there was, it looked like white smoke coming out of every window. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you're right. You have to have the right grinder. It's not a DeWalt grinder that you just throw down there and do a little zippity-zip. It's got to have a suction hose on it, everything, especially if there's an existing homeowner in there. And you don't, you don't have plastic over it. It wreck the house. Yes, yes, it can. You're yeah. exactly right, yes. Uh, yeah, you have to turn off the HVA system yep. for just a few minutes to correct mm -hmm. all that. I think you need sure. to change the filter after you get yes, through the Yes, you do. Because it'll yeah. ruin that air conditioning. Yeah. It will ruin yeah. that air conditioning. You know, we, do, mm -hmm. we, do, we do practice putting up plastic, uh, but we also practice turning off the AC just for a few moments while mm -hmm. we're doing this grinding mm -hmm. and sweeping so mm -hmm. that that mm -hmm. dust doesn't mm -hmm. get deposited mm -hmm. into, you know, two rooms down or deposited somewhere else. Yeah, but if people don't do that, that dust, if you have tall ceilings or tall walls, that's everywhere in there. I mean, what, that my dust, guy, what my guys did, oh, I'm sorry, go, go no, ahead. No. no, what my guys did, I got so upset with all that, you know, grinding yes. material mm -hmm. flowing through the whole house. Well, they took two shop vacs on full go and while they were grinding, those shop vacs were sucking that sure. dirt up right yeah. there. And that's mm -hmm. a good thing to do. Yeah. Sure. It cut down 99% of it. Yeah, yeah. That's. But you that's got to strategically right. have your shop vacs in the right. The more shop vacs you have, the better off you are. Well, that's it takes true. somebody caring about what they're doing, yeah. too. Yeah. There, there, there is uh, also uh, specialized equipment that you can mm -hmm. buy. Yeah. Right tool for, for the right job. The right tool for the right job. And they have huge stack up canisters that are three and a half and four feet tall, big around, and they hook up directly to the grinder so that a guy's not standing there holding it freehand. Yeah. So Clearly my guys didn't yeah. have the right tool. And they need to it's use their mask too. It's expensive it really is. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you, it has to be a big grinder too, and it has mm -hmm. to have a flat plate on it. It can't be one of these little DeWalt grinders. You no. just cannot do uh, it. You can't get a flat. Yeah. You can't get a flat. All right, I'm going to... I'm on a, a tangent right now. When we come back, we're about to go live on the air. We're going to be talking about um, solid versus engineered hardwood floors, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, and we'll wrap that up in about nine minutes and rock and roll. Text anything on Facebook? None. We need to know? Okay. Uh, reset. Three, two, one. Welcome back to the Floors to Go Texas show this Saturday night, friend. All good stuff. You're learning good information. If you own a home and you're out shopping for floors, backsplash, countertops, you name it, you know, if you're redoing a bathroom, uh, don't just get some referral guy to install it. Don't go to the big box stores. Go where they've got twice as many um, displays. Floors to Go at 5212. Uh, Airport Freeway in Haltom City, 817-710-7030. Again, 817-710-7030. A room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. Get you a $600 rug free. Yes, absolutely. Come see us. Come we'll see us. All right, let's talk about hardwood floors. Yes, sir. Okay, a lot of people are shopping for hardwood floors these days, and they want hand scraped, and they want a certain width. Uh, and sometimes people walk in and they don't necessarily know anything about the hardwood floors, and that's okay. That's why we like to teach and explain things to people. But a lot of people come in and they say, I want a real hardwood floor. Yeah, that's, a, that's the first thing they say. And, and uh, we have to explain to them all these floors are real, uh, <laughs> are real hardwood. Real and hardwood. I, I, what they're really saying is, I want a solid hardwood floor. And I understand that concept. What a lot of people want to retrofit into a home or remodel, a lot of people are unaware that you're going to raise your floors mm -hmm. up an inch and a half. In and that's height. quite a bit. That is a lot. If you're going to install retrofit, nail down, sand and finish hardwood floors so that you can custom scrape or custom stain. What we try to educate the customer on is, number one, it's going to raise your baseboards an inch and a half. You're either going to have to get new baseboards or 
those you have are going to have to come off and be repainted. Doors may or may not have to be cut. That's correct. Your kitchen, you may have problems with all your appliances. Y yes, and because traditionally you, you can't retrofit a nail down sand and finish into a kitchen and still get your dishwasher, dishwasher. out, your yeah. trash compactor out. However, they do make a product that is a... a, a solid. A, it has a solid veneer, mm -hmm. uh, and it is engineered. It is glued down, but you can custom scrape it. You can custom stain it because the veneer is so thick. Let me try to explain this to people on the radio who can't see this up hand. Uh, a, a real nail down sand and finish floor, the floor is three quarters of an inch thick, okay? It's usually However, red oak or white oak. Yes. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. Where they place the nail, the nail has to be placed strategically in that wood. It only gives you about five millimeters of actually wear surface out of a three quarter inch solid floor. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is, is that they actually make engineered hardwood floors, some that are two and a half, three, four, and five inch veneers. And they're solid wood a lot of them are sawn faced uh, woods, which that's what a solid piece of wo uh, wood is anyway. It's been sawn with a saw, and a saw and a saw blade, you have a sawmill. But, uh, and so with some of these companies, when you come into the store, we can show you the differences. If people just slow down long enough to, to be able to figure out what species they want, because they have to understand that, that Red oak has a certain type of graining to it. White oak has a, a, a similar graining, but not doesn't have the red in it. Hickory has a very colorful uh, graining to it, where a board can be both blonde and dark in the same board. Mm -hmm. uh, walnut is very similar to that. Uh, but maple is a very consistent uh, colorization, depending on the grade, but it's more consistent. Yeah, I, I tell people, think of your old gymnasium floors. You, you grew up going to high school in the gym. They were all blonde maple, for the most part. Uh, so, but yeah. you you can get you can get a floor with a very nice veneer, without having to go through the problem of oh I've got to buy new baseboards I've mm -hmm. got to raise my floors I've mm -hmm. got to cut off my doors and oh by the way, there's a there's a dust issue with sanding and finishing the floor in the house. Yes, they do make dustless mm -hmm. systems, but there is a smell that stain and and the finish. There is a smell factor too if people are real susceptible to, to different smells. And the and the process for a nail and nail down sand and finish floor uh, takes overall about 10 to 14 days to complete a job. Whereas with an engineered floor, we can be in and out in one, maybe two days, three at the max. Yeah. Yeah. Depending on what the footage is. Uh -huh. So I'm just curious. And you can walk on it immediately. Why would somebody want a nail down floor. I mean, is this just something that, you know? I think it has to do with, uh, I, I just think it has to do with the fact of, uh, I, hey, I want the real McCoy. I want the high end. Okay, I want the high end, I want the real McCoy. We have some very nice high end products. Really nice. That are, and, and that are engineered. And their wear layers are better than if you hand going in a hand scrape, hand and stain and everything. The biggest problem I have in getting people to understand that about the differences between the finishes is that on an engineered floor, they're made in the fa at the factory under laboratory conditions. I mean, think about a paint job on a car. Mm -hmm. One is better? done on the shade tree and one is done in the box. That's correct. <laughs> you, you know, if you, if, if you got one coming mm -hmm. out of Toyota, General Motors, uh, you know, Mercedes, whatever, they've got a pristine paint job. With quality control. With, with, with all kinds of quality control going on it. And so the warranties are better. The product is better that they can put on there because the product at the factory has either a ceramic bead finish in it or aluminum oxide, and mm -hmm. that cannot be put on or applied by hand. No. Uh, if we do a nail down sand and finish floor, we can we put three coats of polyurethane on it, and I guarantee mm -hmm. you there's a layer of dust in between each layer. It's just impossible. If mm -hmm. you can, and if a person could stop 100% of the dust in their own home while those layers are drying, mm -hmm. then you wouldn't have any dust in there. But I guarantee you, there's dust in there. Mm -hmm. And we can only give a one. Myself and all the all the all the dealers in the Dallas Fort Worth area can only give you a one-year guarantee on a nail-down sand and finish floor mm -hmm. for the finish. Mm -hmm. 
But you buy these factory finishes and they're 10, 15, 20, some, some of them are 50, 50 and yeah. some of them are lifetime warranty. So you're not going to wear the finishes off these floors. So no. it, it, it doesn't, a brand new home, I understand getting a nail down sand and finished floor, but retro, the engineered floors are extremely good and we have them priced from three. Three ninety nine a square foot, all the way up to twelve and fifteen dollars a square foot. Now let's just go back one step. If you have an engineered, if you have a solid floor, and you want to add more to it, that would be another reason to go in and put it in there. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then you sand and you stain, mm -hmm. sand seal all of it together, so you don't know where the new floor is. So that would be another reason to do that. And and we have some guys that can match it and make it beautiful. Now, that, that is an advantage over, over 25, 50 years, mm -hmm. okay, that a nail down center finished floor has because it's traditional widths. Mm -hmm. You can go 25 years from now, you can buy some more of that stuff. And like Dana said, install it. Uh, we, we, lay, we finger lace it in and then you sand and finish everything and you can't tell about it. Downfall is, is that if you buy a pre-manufactured floor, at some point in time in the life of that floor, five years, 10 years, 15 years, the manufacturer will quit making that floor, but they won't quit making a nail down sand mm -hmm. and finish type floor. Which, mm -hmm. in, in any case, Daryl, when you get a new floor and you're done, whether it's nailed down or engineered, keep remnants in your attic. Absolutely. Yeah, attic stock. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you, Willie. That's a very and, good point. And also, attic stock. It, it keep a picture of your box and the yes. numbers and everything on it, that, that's a huge deal. Yeah. I got to tell you, Theral, I've done several houses, and I remember in the beginning when I was doing houses, you know, I'd run over there off of, you know, Harry Hines, and I would buy some wood, and it's, it turned out to be a disaster. I wish I would have had this show to go to prior to ever buying those houses. For flooring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for flooring. Uh, I'm fixing to wrap this show up. Any party thoughts, Theral? Uh, just if you have, uh, you know, once again, we're thanking Shelly and, and Randy for coming into the house and thank, uh, and, 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 and Mr. Jones and, mm -hmm. and, and, and Mr. Jones. Jones. I enjoyed Mr. Uh, Jones. And for saying a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug and they get their free rugs. I mean, gee, it makes my day to actually give these rugs away. And if they hear it on Facebook or uh, YouTube, same thing. Just come in and tell us that. We're excited about that. We want to thank them for doing that. And we want to thank our listeners for listening. And uh, uh, we really appreciate the audience. Dana, Mr. Jones, wasn't there a song about that? <laughs> I don't know. I want to thank you, our listener, for joining us. And I'm going to close this hour out by saying, if you've been to the big box store and have done some shopping for flooring, think about what I'm about to tell you. Friends, floors to go. Texas has twice the space and 10 times the choices and beats any price of the box stores any day. Go see my friends at Floors to Go at 5212 Airport Freeway in Haltom City, uh, or reach out to them, reach out to them at 817-710-7030, 817-710-7030. Theral, Dana, I'll see you next week, same time, same place. That's a wrap, and we are out. That's probably my desk closed right there.